All right, here we go. So I'm not about to lie. This is about to be one of the most powerful issues of tier limit inboards I think I've ever put up. I do not see a way to beat this unless you got super poly forbidden droplet with a trap card in hand or a lava golem or some raw spear modes. But one kaiju cannot beat this board alone. You need a lot of shit here. And I'm going to show exactly what I mean. So for one, we're starting off with Medora and a Kelbeck, so we're going to meal. But before this meal actually takes place, we're going to be sending a Stranger of Spirit. How is that even possible? Well, for one, Medora sets Gravekeeper's Trap face up. I activate Kelbeck and then send Exchange of Spirit from my hand to the grave. So my opponent's graveyard is turned off before the milling even begins. Meaning that if I am playing another Ashizu Tier Limits player, it's already a GG. They lost the game already, bro. And I just only activated Medora as a first chain and then everything else is a chain reaction from that. They've already lost the game if they're playing Ashizu Tier Limits. Now here we go. Watch this. I draw a Guido right here, right? Now, my goal here was to activate Sheeran, send the Aguido to mill an additional 10 cards, right? But I hit Aguido in my meals, so now I can just hold on to this Aguido. Plus, I already got the Sully Trap, so my opponent is absolutely fucked, and they don't even know it yet. They know it, but they just they they haven't scooped, and I'm glad they didn't scoop because it gets to show how powerful tier limits actually is. This is the most broken deck in the game. So we're gonna go into Kick Close right here, Kick Close, and then we're going to grab Merly. Rhino Heart is going to send a monster um, or a tier limits. I send the Sullyic right here, so then that way I can grab Havness. Look at my hand. That means I got a play for my opponent's turn, Sheeran, so I can start. Basically, this is a free summon plus meal. And then Merly can swap out for Kikolos to mill an additional eight cards. And then I can use this on my opponent's turn to mill 10 more cards. This is going to be insane, right? So go ahead and send the Merly right here. Go into Kaleido Heart. Put Kaleido Heart all the way to the right. Swap out the Kid Kilos for the Merly. So then that way we can mill an additional eight cards. Grab a Sully all over again. The second one from my deck. Go into Sprite Elf. Revive Cyberstein. Put it in a zone that couldn't be targeted by an Imperm. Summon out Naturia Exterio. Then we're going to summon that Sharon right there. I know it would happen pretty fast. And then I'm going to grab Crime. And then summon the real close. Now, look at this inboard. This is insane. Insane. And I'm still not done yet. I'm still making plays. Activate the Medora right here because we got three Medoras in my graveyard. Shuffle these back. So then that way I can activate the Rainbow Bridge of Salvation and grab the Field Spell plus the Tortoise. Set the Field Spell. Grab uh, Havness right here. Shuffle some cards back. And then I'm just going to pop the Sheeran on the field right here just to clear up one space. And I wanted to make sure I cleared up the, the Sheeran so then that way I can send that back to my deck so I can pop something so I don't have to send the Merly back because that's the only other tier limit name in my graveyard. So I wanted that there. That's why I didn't pop Cyberstein instead. Now, let's look at this inboard of how much shit we actually got. This is like the most unbeatable in board that I think I could possibly produce, right? So here we go. So let's start off with the graveyard. We got Exchange of Spirit in my graveyard, two of them. Uh, we got Rainbow Bridge of Salvation, meaning I can grab the Field Spell again if it does get destroyed. We also got Keldo and Medora for shufflers to shuffle stuff back. And we have a Fairy Tale Snow Interruption. That's a lot of stuff just from the graveyard alone. Then we got Gravekeeper's Trap, meaning that their graveyard is completely turned off. No special summons from their graveyard. And there is no effects being activated in their graveyard. So their graveyard is completely turned off. Mines is live. Then we got Sullyic, which is a monster negate on the field. Crime and Omni negate by discarding a tier limit from my hand. 
or just any card really any card from my hand i just have to send one card from my hand the best card to send would probably be a guido so then that way i can start milling right S activate this mill 10 so this is a omni negate meaning i can negate anything this is why dark ruler no more won't work against this board because i have an omni negate here then spell and trap negate infinite depending on how many cards i got in my deck so i can just sit there and negate 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 I can negate everything in his hand if it's a spell and trap so no spells and traps that i have to worry about right here um real close special summon negate kaleido heart can spin a card back into their extra deck back into their hand back into their deck it can spin it if they put it on the field it can get sent back right sprite elf can revive a card a level two and the level twos that we have is Merly in our graveyard and pretty much that's it but that's all we really need so then we got the pearl Lorano to pop something by simply shuffling a tier limit monster back into the deck that happens when i do a fusion summon now watch how impossible this board is to actually break check this out so activate gravekeeper's trap call gg easy because he is a free dub he is going to activate this cyber dragon right here from his hand you can discard one other monster special summon this card from your hand so let's see i negate that card right there and so no free special summon for him that card gets destroyed and he loses a card out of his hand then he then summons this monster right here cyber dragon onto his side of the field what do i do i activate gravekeeper strap <laughs> this is so broken sending the agito from my hand what does this do this triggers a card to be sent to my graveyard meaning that i can now fusion summon with Havness, and then that makes kaleido heart live so now i can send this shit back send back just that easy then I go into Kit Close with this card right here for the simple fact that my Rule Close already got its effect. So I, I don't really need it this turn anymore. Summon out Kit Close. And then I draw Havness. I already have a Havness in hand, but in case he summons a monster, activates this effect, I can Havness his shit, mill three more cards, get a Fusion Summon, or la 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 la, whatever the case may be, right? Then we also got Kelbeck. If he summons something, I can literally just start milling in some kind of way. I can mill with Sprite Elf. I can mill whatever the hell I want to do. And I pretty much got plays for days. How can I clear space? Well, I can negate something with Sully. What can my like? What can my opponent possibly do, bro? Like he has no options. I still have. In case you're wondering how much shit I still have. I've already used my Kaleido Hearts effect. I've already used the Rule Closes effect. But I still got unlimited damn near unlimited negates with Nature Exterior. Still have not popped anything with Pearl Arano. So if he does summon a monster, I can literally pop that monster at any point. And then on top of that, he's not going to get any effects out of it because I can activate Sully to negate it on field and then pop it. And then if he goes to the graveyard, there's no effects. Then I got Crime as an Omni negate, and he's got three cards. So all Mans can do is 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 skip up out of here, bro. So GGS, this deck is insane. Konami needs to do something about this deck or i am going to continue to abuse this shit ggs my boys i'll catch y'all on the next one peace